Well, greetings to all fishery fans. So today I'm going to show you how to fix a shock leader with the main fishing line. I'll show you the best way of roping them. And as I rope, I'll explain why I believe it's the best. So let's start. I'm going to use a shock leader made by Catron with a, sh with a force at capture of 35 pounds. This shock leader is absolutely round shaped, quite smooth. I'm using it many a year and I'm 100% happy with it. Alright, let's start with shock leader roping. To do it, we need to wind the shock leader into an eight shaped loop. I'm sure everybody knows how to, how to loop it. As you see, I've got this kind of cute eight shaped loop. Here it is, A-shaped. And I fold it to form two neighboring loops. So we pull the tag of the main fishing line into these loops. We have pulled our main line through the eight. And now we need to grip this knot with our fingers and start to wind the main line around the shock leader. We have to do six rounds. Okay, we did six rounds and pull it into this gap between the main line and the shock leader. Having pulled it, we do one round back. And now we pull this line back through these two loops, right into the eight. And now the most important, the process of tightening. It is very important to well wet this knot while tightening it. And we start to pull at first the main line just a little bit by the main tag, then the loose tag just a little bit. It's very important to help with the fingers to fix this knot here very tight. Gradually, we are tightening every part of the knot. You should wet it nicely and permanently, and little by little, help yourself with your hands to tighten the knot hard. Here we go, the knot is almost shaped. Now, what is important is to tighten the knot correctly. Let's take the shock leader, hitch it, then take the main line and give it a hitch too. Then we pull those tag of the line. Then let's take all these parts and tighten them nicely. And the last thing to do, pull the main line and the shock leader. It is important to tighten the shock leader itself. So we got a very compact arrow looking knot. Now, why is it so good? Well, casting a line doesn't knock the ring because it's arrow shaped. And it is ideal for both carp fishing and feeder. As far as feeder rod has quite small range. And not every shock leader may go through such rings. This shock leader does not scramble the rings and does not knock them. Ideally, it would be to apply a drop of glue here and 
form an arrow shape to make it really smooth. These tags should be cut off shortly. To come to such a compact and reliable knot. As you see, it is quite difficult to tear it apart. As long as I go fishing with it, thanks God, I never had any problems with it. I don't remember a single breakage of this knot. But this is the case only if you tighten it right. But I feel, when you're pulling it, you almost don't sense it. So, today I have demonstrated to you how to fix a shock leader with the main fishing line, with a knot that is believed to be the best. It perfectly slips through the rings, of rings and doesn't knock them. It doesn't scramble them, because it has such an arrow-looking shape. It has no protrounding tags detected towards the whip of the stream. This knot was tested by many years of carp fishing. Try to tie this knot, I'm sure you're going to like it. For any occasional questions, go down to comments, subscribe to this channel, and I wish you all fishery luck!